Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about extending the evaluation period for either our Windows Server 2012, 2016, or 2019 server installation. To do this, we're going to use PowerShell. So let's go to our Start menu, and from our Tile menu, let's go ahead and select Windows PowerShell. Once our evaluation period has expired, we have a choice. We can either reinstall or we can rearm the activation period for another 180 days. Now to see how many activation periods you have left with your installation of Windows Server, you can go ahead and type in the following command inside of PowerShell. SLMGR space dash DLV. When you hit this, it's going to pop up some information about how many times this machine has been activated and how many activations are currently left. According to this little bit of information, it says that I have 1,001 rearm attempt remaining. I'm not sure if that's accurate. It should only be six. Six is the maximum number of times you can rearm your Windows server. But if it wants to tell me I got 1,001, I'll take it. You can go ahead and say okay to that message. So you have a total of six times which is what you should have. Six times to actually rearm your installation of Windows Server at 180 days each, which totals three years of total activation. Now to rearm your installation of Windows Server 2012, 2016, or 2019, just type in SLMGR space dash rearm. Go ahead and hit enter and you're going to get a message up here telling you that the command completed successfully and that you must restart. Say OK to the message. And now you can go ahead and restart your server and when you come back up you'll have another 180 days of evaluation time. This also works on Windows 10 but you're only going to have a total of 180 days that you can reevaluate your Windows 10 installation. So that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about rearming our Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019 evaluation period. Now, if you have any questions or concerns about any of the material that was covered in this short video presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.